What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new modded video for you guys today and today guys we're taking a look at the Draconiosaurus. Now this guy is absolutely terrifying. He's uh, a new modded creature that you can obviously find in the Steam Workshop. Uh, I'll leave a link to the mod in the description but look at this guy. He is terrifying. So guys let's go over his basics first. First off this guy has got three attacks. He's got a, uh, a primary attack here, he's got a secondary attack here, and he also has a tertiary attack, which is that big boy. Now, as you guys can see, he's about the size of a T-Rex. A little bit smaller, kind of in between an aloe and a T-Rex. He also has a clubbed tail, very similar to the Anki. So, uh, as you saw there, a couple of his attacks utilize that club to, uh, to deal some damage. Now, the cool thing is you can also harvest with this guy using... Uh, using his uh, club attack. Hold on, let's just set the bloom quality real quick for you guys so you can actually see what we're doing here instead of suffering the terrible light. So you can see here, we're able to hit stuff and we're still able to actually harvest wood, thatch, flint, metal. Uh, you can see here stone. Actually, you have to use the uh, tertiary attack to harvest the stone, I believe, no? I did manage to harvest stone from, there we go, yeah. You can see there, we're able to harvest that. So these attacks are pretty damn cool, I gotta say. But uh, he's got a couple of hidden abilities that are, that are going on with him. So let's go over those briefly and uh, we'll let you know what they are. So first off, his uh, primary attack. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a bit hard to see. Let's just chuck it here. You can see there's kind of like some corrosive stuff coming out of it. So he actually has, it's kind of like a little hidden ability where his attacks do, I guess you could call it bile damage, where the longer he is in combat, the more damage he's able to do. So for example, we've got a bunch of stuff over here. We're gonna run over here real quick and uh, we'll show you guys. And as you see, the longer we're in combat, the more damage our bite will do. So we've got this RG here. So it's 68, 68, 69, 71, 73. So it slowly stacks up over time the more damage we deal. So for example, this is probably a better uh, candidate to show you guys. An Alpha Raptor, 182. We're gonna start getting higher damages on this guy, 191, 197, 203. It just keeps going up and up as long as we're keeping the attack going, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. Now, obviously you can use his uh, tail flip and uh, uh, the side swinging attack. Let's just do a little tail flip here. Love, I love that one, it's so cool, the animation for that. So you can obviously do that, but the uh, the attack damage won't stack. But you can see here we are stacking it back up again. And this is going to cause you to deal a lot of damage to our uh, bigger predators. So for example, Rexes, Gigas, Bronctos, Spinos. This guy's bile attack will stack up on them and it will deal extra damage to them, which is really good. So you can definitely utilize this guy to hunt down uh, bigger tanes and stuff like that. Which is really cool. Now you'll see he will shortly kill this uh, Alpha Raptor. It's dead there, sweet. So, against the Rex as well, we'll also get a bit of an Endorphin buff if we get into combat with stuff that's slightly bigger. Hold on, let's just do something real quick and we'll do this. And we'll go like this. So we're taking a bit of damage now. And uh, you'll see that we'll start dealing a little bit more damage as well. So, it's really good. I really do like this guy. He's a new modded dino. If you guys like chucking in some uh, modded dinos into a couple of your playthroughs, definitely check uh, the uh, Draconiosaurus out. He's really cool. Now, one little thing about this guy is that he can't handle scorpions too well. So, scorpions attacks make him actually a little bit... Uh, what's, the, what's the right word? Not lethargic. Yeah, lethargic maybe? I don't know. Let's see if they attack us. So, we're getting very sleepy. I'm pretty sure scorpion attacks are supposed to really affect us. Doesn't really look like the case right here though. Uh, according to the mod description, scorpion attacks are supposed to make you like really lethargic and take more damage and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not seeing it at the moment though, so that's fine. Now, as for his saddle, his, uh, his saddle, let's go into the inventory. It's pretty much the same design as a Rex saddle. Level 85, pretty easy to make, so that's pretty easy to do. So I believe with Scorpions attacking us, we just take a little bit more Torpor damage. It looks like every strike that they're hitting us, our Torpor damage is going up, but I know Scorpions do that anyway. Uh, it does say in the description that he becomes nauseated. I'm struggling to see where he's becoming nauseated, like we're not losing any stamina. Our Torpor's going up, but that comes with every Scorpion attack. Maybe we're taking a little bit more Torpor than normal. Not 100% sure, but uh, nonetheless, this guy's still pretty dope. Now, you can, like I said, harvest resources with this guy. You can harvest stone, you can harvest metal, you can harvest the trees. He's uh, very good at harvesting. You saw that we just got a crap ton of thatch. You can also harvest the rocks and stuff like that. 
Um, obviously, he's not as good as an Anki, but he definitely will be able to do the job, mainly because he doesn't reduce the uh, weight of metal in his inventory. You can see that it's still the same amount of weight in his inventory. So you will be better off using an Anki, but nonetheless, if you've got nothing else and you want to just start off, you can definitely use this guy. Now, as for taming up wild ones, I would not recommend using uh, crossbow arrows and trank arrows because they their hide is resilient to the trank arrows, so they actually take less torpor. So you definitely want to use a, uh, a long neck and like trank darts. It definitely works better like that and you will be able to tame these guys quicker. But uh, yeah, I really, really think these guys are dope. They also have a roar, which is, uh, that's a pretty intense roar if you ask me. But uh, yeah, guys, nonetheless, definitely worth checking out. Um, just adds a little bit of flair to the game. New dinos and stuff like that always, always makes things a little bit better and a little bit more fun on the game of Ark. Definitely try taking one of these guys up against a Giga, because I did read that they are able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gigas, uh, obviously under the right circumstances, and if you have like a high enough level one and stuff like that, but what we're going to do, we're going to test that out right now, let's get the right command in, there we go, so we got a level, oh we have creative mode activated again, oh you can see that we just got an endorphin buff, uh, so let's just, hold on, we have to get rid of all these levels, we're going to pump up into his health, we're going to just go pure melee damage as well, uh, so I don't know if you guys saw, but our eyes just lit up, so you can see in the top right hand corner as well, there's a bit of a shield icon going on there, so you can see they're aggravated, your dino's damage and health regen are drastically increased, let's take a look here at the health regen, oh damn, that's, uh, that's flying, but it does consume his food at a rapid rate, so you'll see here now the, the skills of the, um, of the bile attack coming into play now, where it's continuously stacking up higher and higher and higher, now, obviously, because we're up against a, a Giga, you can see that uh, we do get that damage buff and we get that health regen, so our health is going to constantly uh, raise and our melee damage is going to get slightly boosted as well. But you can see here, we're hitting for about 400. It, it did cap at 403, I think I saw. Um, so, the bile attack's really cool. You can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Obviously, I'm in creative mode. I was going to jump off and turn it off to uh, see how we would do, but if I jump off now, we're going to die. Actually, no, you know what? I can fix that. Hold on. Let's just do this. Do this do this, jump back on, and turn that off, there we go, let's see, so we're hitting for, he's taking 108 damage, but we are taking the 5% health damage over time, um, I don't think we're regening through that though, which is a bit unfortunate, um, but nonetheless, if you breed these guys up, get a couple of mutations, this guy's not even imprinted, he wasn't even max level, he was only level uh, 120, so, if you get like a max level 1, breed them a couple of times, I'm sure you'd be able to uh, definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gigas. But as it stands for now, it looks like this one will probably die in the long haul. I also don't know what level this Giga is, so that could also be an issue. Let's just... Oh, we don't have creative mode, but we are going to die here, so let's just get this guy running away. Let's just run away from the Giga. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, the Draconosaurus is seriously one of the coolest dinos. His claws also look like they've expanded out while fighting the Giga. I don't think we're able to outrun him, we're probably going to die here, mainly because, well, we're not fast enough, and our food is also draining. Uh, let's just reactivate players only here so we don't actually die. And now we can jump back off. Can I... Okay, there we go. And go like that, and... Can we get back on our mount, please? Oh, he died. He died from the bleeding effect, which is why we got kicked off. Nonetheless, what level was this gig? Let's take a look here. 30. I mean, wild gigas are notoriously strong, so... Uh, it was kind of expected, but you can see he's got a bit of blood marks on him. Nonetheless, guys, I definitely recommend checking out the uh, Draconosaurus. He is probably one of the coolest modded dinos I have seen. We'll leave a link to the uh, to the mod in the description as well as in the comments for you guys. But that's going to wrap up today's video. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.